right, guys, we are on build your own web page section of Introduction to HTML. Again, just a reminder, I did work through this uh, another time, so I will be resetting the code and working through it again. So in this case, um, it's just kind of showing us their little mini sandwich web page example what we're going to be building. All right. So... Um, the web page is blank, as blank as the day it was born. <laughs> so we need to set it up. So if you remember the doc type um, HTML, and then we need our HTML tags, as well as our closing HTML tag, and then we need our header tag and our closing header tag. And then we need the title and the closing title. And then the body and the closing body. And that should be good to go. So we basically got it set up. You can probably just put this in copy and paste, or if you have an HTML editor that you're working with, it'll probably give you something a little bit standard to that. It's going to reset this code. So create an h1 tag inside your body and closing h1 and then type your name for all to see. So h1. I'll use my gamer tag so if you ever see me anywhere. I don't really play games too much. It's a poker guy. Alright. So insert three paragraph tags after your h1 tag. But before closing body tagging, write a little bit about each yourself. Alright, so first thing I like to do is just kind of create the tags we need. So that's one paragraph. Two paragraphs. Three paragraphs. And uh, we'll just talk, we're just going with a gaming theme. RPGs are my favorite games. I love Need of Legends as well. And one more game, one more gaming related thing. Uh, I'm excited. For the Final Fantasy 7 PS4 re remake. Cool. So that is uh, should be what we're trying to do there. We have our three paragraphs. We have our our uh, heading or not our heading. Our H1 uh, change to everything. And so let's go ahead and reset the code. Uh, insert an image between your body tags. Feel free to put it anywhere. We think it'd look best after the H1 tag, but before your paragraph tags. So let's just go ahead and see what comes up. We type in Pizza Poker Guy. We'll go to images. So we get a lot of uh, some. Some. This is a Pizza Poker Guy. This is my uh, old stream icon. So let's go ahead and copy this image URL. It's also my Twitter. For my Twitter um, account. All right. So, but before your paragraph, so you can make some sexy. So, all right. So we'll put it in here. And if you're, let's try and remember, it's image src equals. And just as a, a reminder, but if you're ever struggling with trying to remember syntax and stuff like that, but you understand the concept, there's a lot of great. Um, cheat sheets, if you want to call them that, that have kind of examples and just print them out, bring them with you, and you know, eventually you'll memorize everything. But you have to know so much nowadays that uh, you know maybe you forget exactly how to close the SRC or you know something more complicated down the road. But it's always good to kind of get into the habit of being like, okay, well, I understand it. I just need to see an example real quick. Alright, so it wants to add two links to the web page. Uh, you can turn an image or a bit of text into a link. You can turn a part.
part of your text inside the print. So like, all right, so let's go right here, and we'll say a href equals pair, and we'll just say uh, we'll just create for whatever reason this takes us to Google, and we'll have this, and we'll have a closing area here. And then if we scroll down, you can see it turned our paragraph text right here into a link. And then we will just create our own image link. And I don't remember. I actually am rarely on Twitter, but we'll do the same thing here. So we'll set this up to my Twitter account, which I believe is twitter.com slash pizza poker guy 87. I believe it might be something else. It might just be Pizza Poker Guy. So we have to close out the ending tag. And you can see right now, this is now our link. And we're good to go. So that was kind of just a quick run through of our basic HTML tags. You can see we created a mini web page, I guess. And next, we're going to be going into HTML Basics 2. And we're going to be working our way through it. So hopefully, we'll be getting a little more in depth with what we've been working on. So I'll see you guys next video.